Hey fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Main Corps. We're going to cover a topic today that affects us all and it's in our dealings with women. So if you are new here, the Main Corps is a community for men digging to the core to find out who it is that they really are, what it is that they really want, and who it is that they really want to become. Please consider subscribing and joining the community to help build better men for the future and click the bell to be notified for future videos. We cover masculinity, health, and relationships here at the Main Corps. So I appreciate all the comments and uh, you know a lot of the things that you guys have been adding to the comment section below. And more specifically, you know, this week after posting the 120 days no fap and semen retention update, it's great to hear from you. And um, I'm going to strongly encourage you to, to stay engaged. And uh, I do appreciate hearing from every one of you. Again, this is community. We're all learning here, including myself. So uh, continue to uh, to bring that stuff in. It's uh, it's of great value to to the members of the community. So a couple things came up uh, yesterday, in fact, and um, what I'm seeing here is that there is a theme that's coming up with uh, not just the benefits of nofap and semen retention, but in our dealings and in our interactions and our communications and our relationship with women. And, you know, I'm not going to come here and, and give you advice and, and try to, you know, give you tips and trip tips and tricks because the, the, the reality is, is I'm fucking frustrated and I don't have an answer. So I guess maybe this is maybe more me, uh, letting you know that you're not the only one who is confused or doesn't understand what's going on, uh, with, uh, your interactions with women. And it's really fucking frustrating. Like I'm just, I'm kind of at wits end and, and just kind of ready to clean my hands with even dealing with it. So uh, there was a comment that came in from a viewer yesterday and he was talking about, you know, some extreme feminism stuff and about, uh, you know, what his view on um, and his experience has been on nofap and semen retention and the attraction, but also, you know, what really modern Western women are, are acting like. And you can tell if you read the comment, I'll pin it so that you can see it. Um, you can tell when you read his comment that, that he's... He's frustrated and I, you know, I have to say that I have to really, I understand exactly where he's coming from. It's really frustrating to try and uh, understand where these women are, are coming from, what their intent is, what their direction is. Um, you know, as men, we are, we're doers, we're achievers and we're, we're task completers. And not unlike myself, I think this is where I go wrong is that I try to, you know, bring things to a finite point. I try to, um, you know, solve, even though I know that solving a woman's problems is not something that I can do. I mean, even when I verbally say that, um, when I'm out in the real world or when I'm interacting with them, I find that when I reflect back on my interactions, that's still coming off and that's still happening to me. So obviously there's a, uh, a mental block or there's a, uh, a part of this that, that I don't quite understand or, or that I haven't quite mastered yet. You know, when, when you go on OFAP and semen retention, you're going to attract a lot of, you're going to attract a lot more females. You know, we've talked about this doing, you know, this kind of NOFAP and semen retention lifestyle and what that does to your internal, your internal game, how you feel about yourself, how you present yourself, uh, how you value yourself, and what it does from an internal standpoint. And it's really that energy that women are picking up on. So that's why if you're doing this and you're seeing more and more of them become interested in you, it's because you're raising your internal game, you know, um, and you may be getting in better shape. You may be taking better care of your body and eating better. Uh, that's going to come as a side effect and just kind of a, a natural uh, evolution of, of doing no fap and semen retention. But what they're responding to is the energy that they're feeling from your internal game and what this is doing for you internally. And whether or not you have success with women shouldn't determine whether or not you should continue to work on inner game. Um, that is what I'm, you know, really, really at odds with and, and really trying to face and, and um, you know, become better at, to be honest with you. Because, you know, I can come here and talk about tips and tricks and all these other benefits of doing NOFAP and semen retention, and they could all be sort of short-lived and, you know, good results 
for a short period of time. But the reality is, is that, you know, we have to do things that, that are long-term and that are sustainable and that are not just the quick fix. And as achievers and doers and task completers and breaking through, that's tough for us to understand because, you know, when we see something that we want or when we see something that we want to go after or that we know needs to be done or we, we think needs our help to, to accomplish, whatever the case may be, we just, we don't really think twice about doing it. We just, we, you know, we're, we're kind of designed to just go after it and, and complete it and then move on. You know, moving forward, breaking through barriers, achieving, accomplishing. And that's not the world that women are operating in. And what I'm learning now is the fact that like, you know, if you're gonna play the game, at least, at least the way that I understand it, if you're going to play the game, um, you, you, you do it in a way that uh, kind of gives it back to them the way that they're giving it to you. So you, you also play the game the way that they are uh, with you. And what I mean by that is, you know, I have dealt with, you know, a few different women that are kind of wishy-washy. They don't really know. They're indecisive. They don't. And that frustrates the fuck out of me because, you know, it's, it's, to me, it's just a waste of time. You know, I have a lot of things that I want to accomplish and a lot of things that I want to get done. And there are a lot of things that I'm striving for and, and I'm now, I'm nowhere near close to. And when I'm interacting and dealing with a woman who doesn't really do anything seemingly or adding value to my life other than just kind of distracting me and, you know, trying to get my attention and not really adding any actual value to my life, that frustrates me. And I think it frustrates most guys because we're, we're looking for finite answers. We're looking for completion. And I think that that is what the masculine does. Um, the feminine doesn't operate on that. I mean, if you look back at the previous couple of videos that I have, they're all about flow and movement and emotion and all that stuff. And, you know, in my interactions, I think I've been trying to bring it to a finite point. I've been, I haven't really left it up in the air and maybe, you know, playing the game is, is doing exactly that. You're in, you're interacting and you are, you know, I think it's important that, that you are conscious to limit your time. So that way you're not super available, you know, let your scarcity create your value. Um, you know, you should be focused on becoming a better version of yourself, your health, your, um, your business, your, um, whatever responsibilities that you have, that should be your, your mission. That should be your purpose. And, um, you should never deviate from that. That that's, you know, a man's purpose is, is paramount in his life and doesn't matter how often, women try to protest and try to, you know, distract you or pull you away from it, tell you how much they hate that. Um, ultimately at the end of the day, even though that's what she says, you have to look at what she's doing and her actions. So women vote with their feet. And if they, if they're with you, that means they voted for you. And it doesn't matter if she protests and, and freaks out. Um, eventually, you know, when that emotion sort of subsides, then she'll come to her senses and she'll actually be more glad that you didn't go against what you want or what you need to do or your responsibility or your mission and purpose as a man because you were trying to acquiesce to her. So, you know, I'm, I'm consistently making mistakes all the time and it sucks. It frustrates the shit out of me because, you know, I'm attracting a lot of uh, good, uh, I'm attracting a lot of good prospects and, you know, I'm happy about that. I'm happy about the progress that I'm making and what NoFap and semen retention has done to get me to this point. What I'm, I'm pissed off and frustrated about is the fact that, you know, women don't really do anything to add value to my life. It, it seems, you know, at least the women that I'm dealing with, maybe that's, maybe there is a, an issue there that I, I need to come to terms with in turn, like uh, in terms of like who I'm attracting. Um, because I do really believe in the fact that, you know, your, your vibe and, and water seeks its own level. Your vibe seeks its own tribe. Um, I do believe that like it does attract like. So if I'm attracting these women that don't really have anything other than, you know, irritating and, um, you know, energy sucking, attention seeking behaviors in their intent, then that 
on some level, that means that that's how I view myself and that my self-esteem is not where it needs to be, that I need to work on myself so that I'm attracting a better quality woman, somebody that has a place that she's going, a, a, you know, a good outlook and, and things that, that she wants from life. Um, but is not, you know, set up to try and just get my attention and send me mixed signals. And, you know, if you think about when, I don't know, you know, what your guys' experience has been, but me personally, like, I just can't, I think I'm always looking for like a finite answer and it's just never going to be there. So, um, well, I know that it's not going to be there. It's that flow state that I think is just like, I, there's no... There's no end to it. There's no, to me, there's no purpose to it. There's, there's not a constructed um, intent. Like, what, what are we doing here? Is this anything that's even adding any value to my life? You know, I'm sitting there scratching my head like, okay, well, what is the purpose of this conversation? Because it just doesn't really seem like it's going anywhere. And, you know, even when you do try to take it somewhere, you're, you know, you're met with wishy-washy answers. So, you know, you can't freak out because, you know, that means that you're getting emotionally hijacked and you're affected by what she's doing. So, you know, it, it's frustrating because I, I, I have shit to do and I have places and things and things that I want to get done and accomplish and that need my attention. And when I have girls chirping in my ear that are doing nothing but like wasting my fucking time, like I just, I, I'm frustrated with it. So... Back to the, the comment from the viewer, like he's absolutely right. And I understand that, you know, the red pill is, is hard to swallow. It's not something that um, we, we like to accept, but it is the reality. Um, you know, me personally, I haven't been in a position to really have choice and that sucks. But, you know, I think if I operate from the place of like not really trying to fix or really understand or bring to a finite point and I'm aloof, then maybe that's the direction I'm actually going to try it. And, you know, I'll report back on, on, uh, on the results to see if they're even worth a fuck, but you know, I'm frustrated. And I know a lot of guys out there are too, because, you know, we're looking for finite answers. We're looking for definitive meanings. We're looking for a direction and women just don't operate that way. Um, so to us, it seems like, what's the point of this? What's the purpose of this? Why, what's the design behind this? There's no, there's no like linear place that this is going. So why do I even need to get wrapped up and entangled in shit that has nothing to do but um, waste my time and suck my energy and my thoughts out of what needs me, my, my mission, my purpose, my responsibilities? So I understand where he's coming from. And I, I certainly understand why you know, why MGTOW is something that men are really drawn to or, or why they decide that they want to go their own way. Um, it's, it's tough because, you know, especially if you grew up in a family that's still together, which mine, mine is, um, you know, I think on some level, I've always kind of been looking for the relationship that I have with my, with my own mom, because it's good and it's close. And I see that she's low maintenance. Um, but you know, when you get past that, if I've asked her questions or me and my brother have, have engaged in conversation with her, there's a lot of the same similarities. Um, you know, there's a generational gap there too, but you know, um, there, a lot of those same qualities are still there. So, uh, I think that that's just how they, how they think and how they're wired. They're always, they're always kind of trying to find chinks in your armor and, uh, distract you and, and, and to try to move you off of, off of your center and, um, you know, poke and prod to see what they can get away with and, and what you're made of. And the odd thing is, is that when, when you tolerate less of it, when you want less of it, it's when more, like more of it shows up. And that's what's happening with NoFap and semen retention is that I'm taking better care of myself. I, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, subconsciously distancing myself from really needing anything else because, you know, this develops a discipline and an emotional muscle in, inside men uh, to restrict temptation. And so because of that, you're building an internal muscle within yourself that's, that, that is coming off and that, is, uh, that women are responding to, that, that internal strength, that internal game. So 
Uh, I'm going to continue to work on that. Uh, th that's not going to change. Um, but, you know, the more that I continue to do that, the more that I attract in more women who don't seem to do anything but, like, want to just waste time. I mean, does it not occur to them that, like, maybe they should spend their hours or their time trying to, like, either uh, become an actual partner? Or is it just about games and about testing and about all this, like, you know seemingly endless minefield of of holes to fall in for men. I mean that that doesn't add any value to men's life. That doesn't that doesn't help us um you know grow. I mean I guess you could make an argument for the fact that that you know tests from women do help expose weaknesses that we do need to face. So I I, I do agree that that is something that that they help us do. But to the extent that, you know, it's, it's a continuous, uh, ongoing, forever test and, you know, they do it subconsciously. They just, they don't understand how they do it. They don't know that they're doing it. Um, I see from an evolutionary standpoint why it is the way that it is, why they do test. Um, but I think on some level too, it's a cop-out because it can't just be the excuse that we just kind of let them or allow them or tolerate games like this. I mean, you know, from the very get go, I'm trying to establish with women that like, Hey, I don't, I don't tolerate games. I'm not interested in, 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 you know, you shit testing me all the time and, you know, trying to tug on my, uh, coattails to try and get my attention and pull me away from what it is I'm, I'm here to do. And, you know, obviously, it's, it, it's, it's something that hasn't worked very well because, you know, I'm still, still single. Um, I'm happy as shit, but you know, that's, that's the thing. It's like, I, I, I've, I think I've tried to establish too much, um, too much rules and too much, uh, structure around the ways that they think and operate. They like kind of chaos. They like just all over free flowing shit. And that just frustrates me. Not only because you know, I'm a bit OCD as it is, but like, I kind of need that kind of structure in my life because if I don't have it, then it feels like everything's in decay or in disarray. And, you know, it doesn't matter if you look at their thoughts, their actions, their fucking bathrooms, their, um, their closets, like, or their conversations, that, all of those things that I just mentioned, if you look at most of those things for women, they're, they're all in disarray. The conversations that they have are all over the place. Their actions don't match their words. Their closets are a fucking mess. Their bathrooms are a fucking mess. Um, you know, they're kind of their relationships by and large are, are kind of messy and sloppy. And I think for them, that feels like orchestration for them. You know, I've mentioned a couple times when they're all sitting at, when they have a group of them sitting at a table and they're all talking at once. Like for some reason, that's like orchestration for them. I mean, I don't understand why that at all is getting anything done. It's not moving anything. It just feels like chaos. So, I mean, I don't like it when, when men operate that way because I'm kind of like, you know, get your shit together. You know, get your ducks in a row that you need to take care of shit. Take care of your purpose. Take care of your mission. Get your shit in order. Take care of what you need to take care of. So I don't tolerate it from men. And when women, you know, come from that place, that's how they operate. It's like, I, I guess, you know, where, where I'm at now is that I either need to understand that that's how they are and just accept it or go my own way and never deal with it. Um, to me, it seems like option B is the, is the lower maintenance side, is the easier side. Um, there's risks there because that's taking the easy way out. And if I'm not being tested and if I'm not dealing with these things internally, uh, such that it, it changes anything with my relationships, then I think that on some level says that like I'm fearful of it and maybe I may not achieve my, my highest purpose or maybe I might not become the, the man that uh, I need to be or that I, was, I was, uh, that I was born to be if I just take the easy route. You know, we need to face fear. We need to face death. We need to accept the way that things are without attachment. And, you know, 
by getting involved and in, in playing with playing in the game, you know, maybe that's that's where I need to just kind of like let go of thinking that it needs to have some sort of strategy or some sort of uh, orchestrated, you know, uh, set of guidelines or, you know, be met with, you know, strict lines. Um, I don't want to date a fucking man. Um, but I think that if I, if, if I try to corral that, you know, messy, sloppy, um, all over the place flow that, that the feminine ha is, I think that if I try to focus on that, if I try to corral and, and try to get them in those linear logical lines that, um, that are more comfortable for me, I think I might end up, you know, pursuing and creating a, a, a butler that I'm not even attracted to because that's kind of how, that's how men operate. Um, I don't want a man in my life. I want a woman in my life. So, you know, I grew up with, with a mom that, and a dad that are still together. And so that's my model of the world that it's possible to, uh, to still be together and to grow together. And, um, I don't know what it's like to come from divorce and, you know, it breaks my heart to see when people do, because there's millions of them. Um, divorce is, it's so prominent. I mean, it's, you know, what it's at least half end in divorce, at least half marriages end in divorce. And then, you know, the, it scales even from there for second and third divorces. Um, and I've dated women that, that come from divorce, multiple divorces. So, you know, it's, you know, being in a good relationship with a woman is something that I want. I mean, it's, it's hard to admit that and still be frustrated with the fact that like, you know, I'm now 35 and I haven't quite fucking dialed in and, and came to terms with the fact that like, I'm just not going to get the answer. And um, that's, that's hard for a lot of guys. And it's, that's the, the hard pill for me to swallow. Um, you know, if you go red pill, then that, then it's, it's somewhat similar. Um, and it, and it's hard, it's a hard pill to swallow. Uh, I don't know that I'm always wanting to go my own way. I do want somebody in my life. I want a partner to help me grow, not distract me, not take resources and time and energy away from me. So um, I'm going to continue to work on my inner game and, you know, I'll report back what, um, what the results of, of my interactions when I'm just kind of aloof, when I'm not trying to have any designs to a completion, uh, with women and, and let you guys know how that, um, how, what, what kinds of results I'm seeing. Um, I would love for you to uh, add your comments and uh, share the video with anybody that you think would be a good contributor here at the main core. Um, again, I appreciate all the things that you guys share. So continue to uh, you know share your journey and let me know how I can help. If there is a challenge that you are going through that uh, you'd like me to cover in a future video, uh, please send me an email at themaincoreproject at gmail.com or add it to the comments below. And uh, do share the channel again with anybody that is a good contributor here. We want to build community for, uh, for the better of men in the future. But I got to run, fellas. It's been great. Cheers to you.